What's good, YouTube? Dre here with Different Gaming. Um, sorry for the timely video. Um, Veterans Day, and then just working in a restaurant. This is busy. This is busy. Plus, I've been trying to think of what kind of a video to do. And I finally came up with something. And it's also a new segment. Um... So, without further ado, if you're new to the channel, if you've already been here, um, like, whoo, like, comment, subscribe, if you're new to the channel, if you already know the channel, you know, drop a comment, let me, let me, let me, let, just let me know, um, do have to say thank you for 100 subscribers. Um, we did hit 100 subscribers. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I've been really thinking about what deck somebody, you know, people that like to play um, anti-meta, um, like to play for fun, but still like to play compatible competitively um yeah that's me um i like to play for fun um i like the interactions i like to learn um the ins and outs of decks um this is why i've been playing shadows for so long um and with this tier zero format with um, Ishizu tier, um, you gotta have a deck that can counter it. So, what's the, what's the next best deck besides the mirror match? Shadows. Why? Because Shadows are the original OGs. Tears wasn't even thought of. Shadows were the first ones. Not really. Well, the first. No, Dark World. Dark World. No, Fabled. Fable is the is the OG deck that had trigger effects for. Uh, I mean, you had to discard the card, but I mean, the card had to di get discarded to the graveyard to trigger the effect. So, yeah. <coughs> Fabled is the OG trigger deck. I played Fabled. I loved that deck. That deck was very, very fun. Um, that's where I learned how to play combo decks was Fabled. But enough enough about the past. Um, we're, we're in today. But Sorry about that. That's my alarm for, for me to wake up. That gives me an hour before I have to get ready for work. But um, I'm going to do this in probably like three parts. Um, um, essentially, after the three parts, um, we're going to do the deck profile. And then after that, combo video. Um, the reason why it's going to be in three parts, because the first part, I'm just going to do the engine. Um, so we're building Shadows. So we're going to start with, you know, what you need engine wise, you know, you're playing Shadows, you need a Shadow engine. So we're going to construct a Shadow engine. Um, got sleeves right here. Um, probably won't sleeve them up and probably just lay them out and explain as I go, but without further ado, welcome to the first segment of deck building 101 with Dre. So let's get into it. So, as you see, 
have your three main, your three main boss monsters. Um, you have Cologne, Construct, Wonder, Fusion, Schism. All right, I hope y'all like the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Say, no, nah, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get these out of the way. And let's start on the main deck. Because the extra deck will be uh, last segment. So first segment will be engine. Second will be um, if you want to add another engine or that will probably be in this video. Um, second one will be, you know, um, tech cards, um, tech cards, hand traps. So first video will be um, engines um, with a apostrophe S. Um, then second video will be um, tech cards, uh, going second cards, uh, things of that nature. So, you know, you can get some type of advantage. And then the last one will be um, hand traps and fill-ins. You know, some decks, if you play one engine or two engines, you still have space um, to play around with cards. So, this is how we're going to do it. So, we're playing Shadows. So, as y'all remember, uh, we already had some of the engine built so to start off with the Shadal engine you definitely need three fusion three schism and then of course your Shadal monsters so already got your schism your fusion and then your beast aerial dragon so, as I reach over here, so, <coughs> excuse me, So here we are to add So I went through all my stuff, found all the Shadal stuff that I have. Um the only Shadal card that I'm not playing um cards is Hound. Um of course the pendulums for the Zephyr deck and um Neff Shadar Fusion, which is the equipped um, spell card. Um, you can equip the Tor Shadal and declare one one type, um, one attribute. Um, your Shadal monster becomes that attribute, and then you can um, actually Fusion Summon with that spell card. But... And the only Shadow Monster I don't have is Hound. Um, I need to get a Hound because that card is very, very, very good in a pure Shadow build. But, so, in this format, oh, I need to bring this back over. There we go. In this format, um, Ishizu, Tear, um, Mills. 
and runic doesn't runic mills but it banishes so you don't want to you, you kind of want to build the main deck to at least compete somewhat on um, game one so we're playing in a tier zero format how do we build a budget rove deck like shadal to compete against a two and in a tier zero format well this is how we do it so you need your shadal engine um three skamata is too much uh genius is good but we're not running shikanaga um and genius um does have an effect that helps your helps you to chain block and to negate an effect. So Genius and Apcolone together, um, very good interaction with each other because Apcolone permanently negates as to where Genius um, has stopped some monster from, from activating their effect that turn. So Chain Link 2, Chain Link 1, target what you're going to target, then Apcolone target what is going to target. Um, but, um, we, we don't want to thin our deck out too much, so we will do one Squamata, uh, one Hedgehog, um, two Hedgehog is really good in a pure Shadal build, um, just having that Shadal name in hand, especially when you're running El Shadal Fusion, is really good. Um, I have to find my second one. Um, if not, I have to order another one. But it's like 35 cents. So if you need a specific card, 90% 90 to 98% of this deck is inexpensive. Um, then we're going to go Falco um, for Interruption, and it's also a tuner, so um, you can sync with it. Um, it's just a reoccurring body, so say for like Numeron, you send Falco, you send it, it comes back, attack. That's that's a extra what like two thousand damage that you don't take, um, or if you just set it, say say you just set it, and you have a Shadal in grave, you flip special summon, and depending on the level, you can just sink. So say if you go Construct, you can actually go into a Baron, like pure Shadal can go into Baron. Can go in a Star Eater. Um, it can do a lot. Um, too windy, of course. Do too windy. Um, just because you need uh, the different attributes. Um, you need the wind, you got the water, and you're stuck with a lot of darks. So, and. Cologne requires two attributes. So you kind of want to keep that in mind also. So as you're building your main deck with your engine cards, you still want to take into account that you have extra deck monsters that you have to take into account of their uh, requirements. And want to keep it 40 so you don't want too many uh, you don't want too many names or too big of a engine because that takes away from your utility cars from your I'm um, going second cars um, hand traps possibly um, for Wendy Wendy you know set beasts 
the Rush Wendy construct combo. Um, if you don't know that combo, um, after this segment is done, I will have combo videos with Pure Shadal. Then, um, now, I never ever um, take anything away from testing a card um, for X amount of time. Like, see Hollow's right here. Hollow's a really good Shadal card. Um, and Pure Shadal is really good because you can easily set it with Wendy. Um, the graveyard effect when it's in the graveyard um, you can mill the top of your deck to the graveyard um, equal to the different attributes on the field so like I said Ishizu Tear mills to the graveyard Hollow mills to the graveyard depending on the attributes so say if there's just two attributes you can mill two and say if you hit a falco and a beast or a hedgehog and a dragon or you hit a rush and a shit off fusion and you have a fusion on board like there's is so much that there's so much that hollow can do um the flip effect um, you target one face-up monster your opponent controls, then you send one Shadal monster with the same attribute from your extra deck to the graveyard, and then banish the targeted, targeted monster. So, you get a plus two off of one flip effect. Because you get to send one of your Shadows first, first, first. Let's back it up. Um, target. Um, then light, two darks. So you target a light or a dark. Plus, if you send App Clone, you just plus automatically. Um, if you send Window or Construct, you're adding something back from the graveyard. Um, there are other attribute, uh, <laughs> other attributed Shadal fusions. Um, but. You just need construct, app clone, and window, and then your other cards. But like I said, it's always good to test a card. Um, I've already, I've been tested this card, and this card is really good. And then you have these these two of. Um, but before you even continue, we just. Count, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight Shadal names. And then you have three attributes. You have wind, fire, water, because Ariel is water. Um, you can use Kios. Kios is a light, so if you end up with a Shadal and you don't have a light, but you have Kios, um, Kios really comes in handy. So if you wanna be, um, if you wanna go balls to the wall, then play all play all the Shadals. Um, the Shadals really do have fun interactions amongst themselves. Just because you can, you know, send Wendy, Special Summon, Hollow, 
or a special summon Falco, um, set up for next turn, and then playing against Ishizu tier, they're you're you're playing a deck that mills just like them. They have you have trigger effects just like them. You gain advantage when your cards hit the graveyard. So do theirs. So it's going to be a lot of back and forth or um, not slow play purposely, but slow playing on the part of making sure your opponent doesn't gain advantage. So we have our monsters. the spells so we got the three fusion then two El Shaddaa fusion um a lot of people play three they max out on it um I don't because it can become a dead card um Shaddaa fusion I prefer to max out over El Shaddaa um that's my personal opinion if you want to max out on both go go right on ahead and then the one rush. So in 21 minutes, we got the engine. We have our engine. We have our full star engine. And then we count the cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. Just a little over half. I mean, not half. I mean, half of 30. I mean, you kind of want to keep it, you know, 15, 16, 17 with your engine cards. Um, and it has to do a lot with uh, statistics and probabilities and math so um also if you want to play the second rush for your 16th engine card because you do do the combo and you need another rush um that's that's okay that is okay um So that's one engine that we're playing. So look, we did it. We did it together. We built the Shadal engine together. That's cool. So we're gonna put these up now. For the other engine, we're gonna do, and this is probably the best engine um, now, just because there's so much advantage off of it. But with Nadir server back at three, running a Dogmatica package. So running a pure Dogmatica package, you want to So it's three, three. Some people would think, oh, you need Maximus. Um, no, you don't want to play Maximus. If you play Maximus, then you just go ahead and give your opponent the, the match, the full match. Um, the ratio is correct because when you know Dear Servant, you know Dear Servant for those two. So if you think about it, the ratio is two to three instead of 33 but when you put this engine in you want to take into account for your extra deck also because 
you have to add Titan Clyde. Because if you have Nadir Seraphim, you get your first Ecclesia. Um, you can send this. You can send Titan Clyde. Um, in phase. Um, add your floor. And then, so with Nadir, Nadir Servant, send that, add Ecclesia. <coughs> Normal special Ecclesia. Then, add uh, Floor de Reese to hand, in phase, add Ecclesia, and then boom. So, oh, and I did forget something. I forgot something very, very, very important. Um, and this goes with the extra deck. So, since we are running two different engines, um, your extra deck has to has to match. So we have a full Shadar engine. So that means we have to semi max out on all the Shadar fusions that we're playing. So as you can see, that's six spots, six slots in your extra deck gone. And then we play the Nadir package, the Dogmatica package. So you have to also take into account that you have to send a monster from the extra deck. So remember that was six, seven, eight, nine. Because you have to have Omega, Entis, Titan Clyde. So, with the six Shadows, three for your Dogmatica package. Um, that leaves the rest of the extra deck for um, cards that you absolutely do need in the deck. Um, for honorable mention... We do have the Fusion Destiny package, the DPE, if I can find Mr. DPE, yeah, but, but, remember we counted earlier. We counted 16 in the main, 16, and then three Nadir Servant, that's 19, uh, two Ecclesia, one Floor, that's 22. And then there's nine spots already taken in the extra deck, so I said, what, 22, 26. So that gives the rest of the rest of the deck and this is where the extra deck gets really, really tight. Um, the main deck gets really, really tight. Because, I mean, you want to see your cards. You don't want dead cards. And these two are big, the big, biggest. Um, but this is an honorable mention. Um, if you can get the DPE package, um, I do recommend it. But... So, so far, we got our two engines. We got our, we got our two engines. We're building a Shadal deck for a tier zero format. Let's go. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys like the new segment. Um, hope y'all learned a little bit. Um, the ones 
that are new. I hope you definitely learned um, something new. Um, I hope you guys take this um, to your locals um, and just have at it. Um, I'm sorry for the lengthy video, but I do like to go into detail as to, you know, why we choose the cars that we choose. So, um, tomorrow I will record um, part two, which will be, you know, going second, tech, um, so on and so forth. And with that being said, peace.